family and welcome to another day of Hans Ween. Hans Ween is 31 tutorials in the month of October. That means a new video every single day. Today's look is actually very different. I did for kind of an avant-garde peacock look. I know that I've been going ham in the body painting and stuff, so I kind of wanted to switch gears and do a little bit more of a beauty look. This is beauty for me. Don't judge me. I'm not a beauty girl. I don't like beauty tutorials, okay? All product details will be listed down below including my codes and links and everything else you'll need to know about this look. Let's get to the tutorial. To start off this look, since it is beauty, I am just going to use my regular foundation routine. Right now it's using a Dior's Air Flash foundation and just stippling this all over my face in downward motions with a beauty blender. I did recently get this new Anastasia Beverly Hills Fair Contour Cream Palette, so I do want to use that to not only highlight my face, but contour it as well. If you want to know how I contour my face in actual detail, I do have a video which I will link it down below in the description box. I usually contour with powders, but I am loving this cream and I love using my Morphe G30 brush to really get that chiseled contour look. This highlighting powder is from Artist Couture by MAC Daddy and this is the Mermaid Fantasy Diamond Glow Powder. It is this beautiful, super shimmery, kind of teal mermaid color, so I'm using that to highlight all of the high points of my face, and then actually wetting my beauty blender just a little more, because if you apply this damp, it's going to intensify the effect. I want to look like a shimmery, illuminating peacock, because they are super, super colorful, obviously, so I'm just putting this all over my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin as well. Even though we are going for a peacock look, I did want to obviously make it as beauty as possible. So going with this NYX blush and the bottom of my beauty blender, I am going to put a little bit of pink on the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to do the other eye and then I will be right back. Going in with Beaches and Cream from Makeup Geek, after I have primed my eyelids, I am going to just use this as my base eyeshadow so that I can blend on top of. With my MAC 263 brush, this very small angle brush, I'm going to carve out with Corrupt Black Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek exactly where I want this little cut crease to be. This foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek was absolutely perfect, so I took this and a damp Makeup Geek brush just to pat this all over my lid. You don't want to swipe the color yet, you just want to pack it onto your lid. To start to darken the edges to kind of give a halo eye effect, I'm using Sugar Pills Velocity Eyeshadow and that same Makeup Geek brush. We're just going to take this all up against that black line and blend it seamlessly into that light blue. Now with my favorite black eyeshadow, this is Corrupt from Makeup Geek, you guys know I love this, I am going to start darkening up that line even more. I want the black to blend into the blue and you can see I'm using the angled brush mostly because I want that very sharp defined line. Pretty much do the exact same thing we just did on our lid. We're going to carve out where we want kind of some of our negative space. And then I'm going to use Dragonfly, which is a new eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. You guys, this shit is so pigmented. They reformulated some of their matte eyeshadows. This color is amazing. So I'm going to use that as my first kind of transition color and go all through my brow and up onto my forehead. I'm also using a medium-sized fluffy brush from Morphe to really blend out the color so that I get a nice soft effect. With Sugar Pills After Party, which is kind of a light medium blue, I guess, I'm going to start blending that into the dragonfly color that we have down. I'm going back in with that Makeup Geek small shader brush, and then slowly just blending it more and more into the dragonfly, adding as much as I need and then blending it out, adding more and then blending it out. I do want my brows to kind of just blend into the eyeshadow, so I'm using a lot of black on my eyebrows and blending it into that blue. Using my trusty Sigma E10 brush that I use almost all the time, I'm going to start sketching out where I want the bottom of the white kind of eye to be. Peacocks have these white lines on both sides of their eyes, so I wanted to achieve that, so I'm using white body paint to do this, but you could totally use just some white liquid liner. Do what we did earlier with that small angled brush, using Dragonfly and then After Party from Sugar Pill, and then back in with Corrupt from Makeup Geek. Take your time blending this out and adding pigment just like we did earlier.
This was a little bit of a hard part for me because trying to get the exact shape that I did on the other side was a little difficult, so I definitely had to sit there and kind of try to recreate it and take my time, but I'm still just using the white body paint, and you could honestly do this in whatever shape you wanted, but I just found this kind of cool shape looked fun and it almost looked like these were my weird eyebrows. With my Tartus clay eyeliner from Tarte, I am going to just draw a little line on the top of my eye. I don't want to wing this out because I do want to keep that kind of circular effect. I'm going to pop on these lashes from House of Lashes. Unfortunately, these were a special edition in kind of the winter months, but you could easily make these by just getting your favorite pair of lashes and adding glitter to them. With Violet Voss's Secret Weapon Glitter Glue, this stuff is amazing, I am going to start adding that under my eye and then adding a little bit of green glitter on top of that. I just felt that I was missing a little bit of green. Peacocks have quite a bit of green in them and I feel a little too blue, so I wanted to add just a pop of green somewhere. If you were choosing just to do a beauty look, you could stop here, but you guys know I love my detail. I couldn't stop just there. So I started adding on a little bit of cream paint. This is from Makeup Forever the in the Flash palette, and I am just going to start stippling that on in select spots around my face just to start creating the illusion of coming up avant-garde feathers. We do want these feathers to be as dimensional as possible, so I am focusing some darker colors from the flash palette towards the outsides of my face and some lighter colors towards the center. Even though we are going for a very artsy theme of feathers, we do want this to look somewhat realistic. And realistically, the high points of our face would still catch highlight, and where we would normally contour would still have shadow. So just keep adding in different colors. Add in some whites, add in some blacks. I actually am adding in a pigment from Inglot, which is a super bright blue mixed with a little bit of water, just so that I have some more variants of colors throughout. So if you look at a peacock's head, they have so many bright, intense colors. For a little more extra shine too, I did end up adding that mermaid fantasy with a little bit of water just so that I had a few little select spots of really intense shine. Again, you guys could stop here, but I chose to do a little bit on my neck and chest and I'm doing the exact same technique that I did earlier, but I am just intensifying it throughout my neck and down onto my chest. You could do this all over your face, all over your chest, all over your neck, but I think it looks kind of cool, very asymmetrical. I like when things don't have a lot of symmetry to them. For the lips, I'm using Jeffree Star's Cosmetics Posh Spice Velour Liquid Lipstick. This is one of my favorite colors ever. And I'm just filling in my lips, and then I'm going to add a little bit of that Mermaid Fantasy by MAC Daddy on the center of my lips for just a little bit of pop of shimmer. So what kind of peacock would we be without our peacock feathers? So I'm taking a little bit of Mayron's Liquid Latex, and I'm going to start sticking these onto one side of my face. I was going to do both sides, but I just decided to do one. I got these feathers from Pier 1, pff, like, four years ago. And if you are wearing this look out, I would definitely suggest doing this with Spirit Gum because it will hold much better than Liquid Latex. And this, you guys, was the finished product. I hope you liked it. I had to add as much detail in there as possible. I know this isn't a detailed look, so I'm sorry to you guys that really loved my detail. It was hard for me to. If you do recreate this look, please use the hashtag Hansween so I can see it. And I will just see you guys tomorrow.